the nobel prize is given for only six categories and which categories are they they are nobel prize for peace nobel prize for medicine or physiology nobel prize for economics nobel prize for literature nobel prize for physics and nobel prize for chemistry that's it these are the only categories in which the nobel prizes are given so let us see what nobel prize is actually uh, let us discuss some facts about it the nobel prize award it was first conferred in the year 1901 so it was given in the starting of 20th century that is 1901 and it is given in the name of alfred nobel who was a swedish inventor okay so alfred nobel who was a swedish inventor and in his name the nobel prizes are conferred and it was it began in the year 1901 and the season for the nobel prize begins in october every year so every year october onwards the nobel prizes are distributed and the nobel prize it is awarded yearly to the individuals or the organizations so please keep in mind that nobel prize is given to individuals as well as organization who do an extraordinary job in the field of physics chemistry literature peace physiology or medicine and economics which are the six categories which we just discussed and also all the nobel prizes are given at stockholm in sweden except for the nobel peace prize which is awarded at oslo in norway so there is only one nobel prize which is nobel peace prize which is awarded at oslo in norway and all the other nobel prizes which is other five prizes are distributed at stockholm which is the capital of sweden Another fact is the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine field, it is awarded by Karolinska Institute. So it is Karolinska Institute which awards Nobel Prize in Medicine. And in Physics, Chemistry and Economics, the Nobel Prize is awarded by Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. So Nobel Prize for Medicine, it is awarded by Karolinska Institute and Nobel Prize for Physics, Chemistry and Economics. These three categories, it is awarded by Royal Swedish Academy of Science. Now two more categories left. The Nobel Peace Prize, it is awarded by Norwegian Nobel Committee. As we just discussed that Nobel Peace Prize, it is given in Norway and all other prizes are given in sweden so this nobel peace prize it is awarded by norwegian nobel committee and in literature the nobel prize for literature it is given by the swedish academy so physiology or medicine it is awarded by karolinska institute physics chemistry and economics the nobel prize is awarded by royal swedish academy of science and nobel peace prize it is awarded by norwegian nobel committee and the nobel prize for literature it is again awarded by swedish academy so these are the different awards and who awards them and only three people at maximum can share a nobel prize so this is an interesting fact we have some more facts only four scientists have won the nobel prize twice and who are they they are marie curie john barden linus pauling and frederick sanger and marie curie is the only woman to have won the nobel prize twice as we can see here marie curie is the first woman to win the nobel and the only woman to have received it twice and when did marie curie receive nobel prize she received nobel prize for two times first of all in 1903 that is for physics and in 1911 which is for chemistry and the next fact is malala yusufzai who is from pakistan she is the youngest nobel laureate who received the nobel peace prize in 2014 at the age of just 17 so she is the youngest one now who is the oldest one the oldest recipient is john b good enough okay john b good enough a very interesting surname good enough so john b good enough who received the nobel prize for chemistry in 2019 at the age of 97 years so the youngest one was malala yusufzai who received in 17 years and the oldest one john b good enough he received the nobel prize for chemistry at the age of 97 years in 2019 so these were some interesting facts about nobel prize now let us discuss indians to be awarded with nobel prize there are total of 11 indians who have won the nobel prize in different categories 
The first name in this list is of Ronald Ross. He received the Nobel Prize in 1902 and he received it for physiology or medicine for his work on malaria. Ronald Ross was of foreign origin and he was only born in India. So that is the only reason why he is included in this list. He is not an Indian citizen. So the first Indian born to receive the Nobel Prize is Ronald Ross. The name is Ronald Ross. So I hope this is clear. The next is Joseph Rudyard Kipling, a very famous name. Joseph Rudyard Kipling, he received Nobel Prize for Literature in 1907. And for what purpose he received? In consideration of the power of observation, imagination and talent for narration. Again, Joseph Kipling was of foreign origin. He was only born in India and he was the second Indian born to get the Nobel Prize. And the most important name now is of Rabindranath Thakur. He received Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1913. Why is this name most important? Because Rabindranath Thakur was the first Indian citizen to receive the Nobel Prize. Yes, he was the citizen of British India and the first Indian to get Nobel Prize. Do not get confused with Ronald Ross. Ronald Ross was the first Indian born to get the Nobel Prize, whereas Rabindranath Tagore was the first Indian citizen to get the Nobel Prize. Now, let us proceed towards next name in the list. The next important name in the list is of C.V. Raman. He received the Nobel Prize in 1930 for physics. So, Nobel Prize for physics in the year 1930, it was given to C.V. Raman. And for what purpose? For his work on the scattering of light and for the discovery of the effect named after him, which we know very well, which is Raman effect. And he was an Indian citizen. The next name in the list is of Hargobind Khurana. Hargobind Khurana received Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1968. And he was not Indian citizen. He was US citizen. Remember this. Another name is Mother Teresa. We all know she received Nobel Peace Prize in 1979. Nobel Peace Prize for 1979 was awarded to Mother Teresa. She was an Indian citizen and she was born in Skopje. And one interesting fact about Mother Teresa is that Mother Teresa was the first from the Republic of India to get the Nobel Prize. Yes, Mother Teresa, she was an Indian citizen and she was the citizen of Republic of India. Before this, those who got the Nobel Prizes, that is uh, Rabindranath Tagore, C. V. Raman, they all were the citizen of British India. And uh, as we said that Ronald Ross and uh, Rudyard Kipling was not Indian citizen. And Hargobind Khurana was US citizen and he was only born in India. So Mother Teresa is the first person from the Republic of India to get the Nobel Prize. So remember this fact as well. And the next name in the list is of Subramanian Chandra Sekhar. Subramanian Chandra Sekhar received Nobel Prize for Physics in the year 1983 and for what did he receive he received for his theoretical studies of the physical processes of importance of the structure and evolution of the stars s chandrasekhar or subramanian chandrasekhar received the nobel prize for physics in the year 1983 the next name in the list is very important it is amarti sen and he received the Nobel Prize for Economics in the year 1998. He received this for his contribution in the welfare economics. So Amartya Sen was the recipient of the Nobel Prize for Economics in the year 1998 and he is also an Indian citizen. Now the third last name is the Venkataraman Venki Ramakrishnan. He received Nobel Prize for Chemistry in the year 2009. He received it for the studies of the structure and function of the ribosome. So Venkataraman Venki Ramakrishnan who received Nobel Prize for Chemistry in the year 2009. And now the last two important names are left and they are Kailas Satyarthi. He received Nobel Peace Prize for the year 2014 and for what purpose did he receive? He received it for struggle against the suppression of the child and young people and for the right of all children to education. So for this, Kaila Satyarthi, he received Nobel Peace Prize in the year 2014 and he is also an Indian citizen. And the last name in the list is of Abhijit Banerjee who received the Nobel Prize in Economics for the year 2019 for his experimental approach to alleviate global poverty and he is an American citizen. So he is not an Indian citizen but born in India. So Abhijit Banerjee received Nobel Prize in Economics in the year 2019 and the latest from India to receive the award. 
So let us revise once. Ronald Ross received in 1902 for physiology of medicine and he was the first Indian born to receive the Nobel Prize in medicine and Joseph Rudyard Kipling who received in 1907 for literature and he was the second Indian born to receive the Nobel Prize. Rabindranath Tagore was the Nobel Prize recipient for literature in the year 1913 and he was the first Indian to get the Nobel Prize, a citizen of British India. And the fourth name is C. V. Raman, who received Nobel Prize for Physics in the year 1930. Hargobind Khurana received Nobel Prize for Medicine in 1968, and he was a US citizen, not born in India. And Mother Teresa received Nobel Peace Prize in the year 1979. She was an Indian citizen. And Subramaniam Chandrasekhar, he received Nobel Prize for Physics in the year 1983. He was an Indian citizen. Amartya Sen received Nobel Prize in Economics in the year 1998. He was an Indian citizen. And Vain Kataraman Vainki Ramakrishnan, he received Nobel Prize for Chemistry in the year 2009. And he is also an Indian citizen. And the last two names, Kala Satyarthi, Nobel Peace Prize in the year 2014. And the last name in the list is of Abhijit Banerjee who received the Nobel Prize in Economics for the year 2019 for his experimental approach to alleviate global poverty and he is an American citizen. So, so let us summarize what we have all learned. First of all, two of the Nobel laureates that is we discussed Rabindranath Tagore and C. V. Raman were the citizen of British India at the time they were awarded while two that is the first two which we discussed Ronald Ross and Rudyard Kipling they were of foreign origin and they were only born in India. So remember this thing and the second thing is three of the Nobel laureates were the citizen of Republic of India and who were they? Mother Teresa, Amartya Sen and Kailas Satyarthi and the next thing is four Indians that is uh, Hargobind Khurana, K. Chandrasekhar, Ramakrishnan and Abhijit Banerjee. They were Indian by birth only but subsequently they are the non-citizen of India. So these three facts remember it. So this was all. I hope you like the session. The PDF of this session is available in the description box and thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SSG Second. Bye-bye.